What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're taking a look at the new PCSX2 nightly build that is made using QT. This has been a goal of theirs for a very long time, uh, and I'm honestly very impressed with it, minus the recursive scanning. That seems to be a bit dangerous, but I'm not gonna go over that right now. So let's go over how this thing works. You can, of course, right click, Add a search directory. You can right click a game, go to its properties, set a cover image, exclude from list, default boot, and so on. Now, this is Star Ocean 1 and 2. These are the best JRPGs ever made. And honestly, uh, I can't wait to play this on this new PCSX2. If we go to system, you're going to notice some stuff that you're used to. Now, a lot of this has been completely redone and reorganized and it looks great. You even got your graphics here, your rendering here, your on-screen display, your advanced, uh, your audio, nice, memory cards, looks like you can create ad swap between, and your network interfacing. I like it. Here you can deal with your interface, you know, set your language, your themes if you want. Uh, honestly, this one would probably be best for me. Oh God, that is ugly. Never mind. Never mind. Complete and utter regret. I regret everything. Uh, this one. There we go. We're going to stick with this normal blue one until I can make a, uh, one of my own. You can also select between your channels, between stable and nightly, which is nice. It's automatic updating. So every time there's an update, you can update. Your BIOS is handled here, including your patch region. And yeah, we're going to hit close. We're going to go to settings, and I'm going to show you the new controller interface because this is probably the best thing. As you can see, my PS5 controller shows up over there. Uh, there is enhanced dual shock and dual sense enhanced mode, which is cool. And the best part is there's automatic binding according to the device you're using. And then, of course, you can save the profile or load the profile. Thank you. <laughs> the old way of doing profiles was really annoying. Like, I mean, the most annoying thing in the universe. I'm glad that they finally fixed that. They've also added hotkeys for a whole bunch of stuff. So you get to uh, set your hotkeys if you wish. There are your global settings once again. And honestly, that's about it. I mean, just double click the game, start it up, and hope for the best. Let's see what we get. Did it double click? No. How do we do this? Fast boot or full boot? Hmm. Fast boot. Oh, I clicked full boot, didn't I? I don't know if it's actually going to boot or not. I haven't tried yet. Uh, Start disk. Start BIOS. Are you even going to do anything? Default boot. Start disk. Damn you. Work. Fast boot. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so I had to do a thing to get another thing done to do that thing. All right. That was weird. Yep, so it's playing. We do have the controller working. And the initial settings. Ooh, the vibration works. Let's see. This is any better in game than it was before. See, I hate that blur so much. Motion blur for games is the worst thing ever. Uh, let's go over here. Do my standard watch him get hit in the face. One second. Fate? Mind your own business. Ouch. <laughs> There we go. This feels pretty nice. I like the new layout. I like that it shows your resolution down here. 
course, if I full screen this, it would be actual 4K or close to it, hopefully. Your Vulcan render, everything else set. Are we dropping frames at all? We're not. Wow. It's just a solid 60. This is wonderful. Let's go to settings. Graphics. Let's try some other stuff like... Uh, show FPS. Show CPU usage. Nah, don't want that. Show speed. 100%. Resolution. GPU usage. Not bad. Let's give her a shader boost. Ugh. Honestly, I love this new. I, lo I love this. Uh, this this new GUI a lot. It looks really really good. And the fact that we can have everything on the screen at once like that is nice but there are some things that need to be done to it uh like a small little black overlay a small little box surrounding it would be nice and the ability to have it bigger or smaller not to mention have it brighter colors like say red or something uh take notes from mango hud in other words anyway thanks for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe share the video and do all that funky stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye, everybody.